Hello and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker with me, Barton. I almost forgot the name of the game there for a second. Okay, so we need to get ourselves back to town. This is going to take us to go to two days to do that. May we have sure, a in a second. Respite. Okay, let's accept that and then begin resting. I'm gonna go here for a second. It's only because I'm pretty sure we have to sleep at the castle for him to be fixed, but I just want to check whether having that rest, yeah, he didn't do anything. I was pretty sure about that, but Hey, you should check if you're not 100%. Okay, let's just get that. Gods think of us mortals as dogs to be trained. Alright, so looking at how long we got, we should actually get back before they need to rest. I'm hungry. Well, you're lucky. Because we just about got here in time. So I'm going to go rest and I'm going to check here. And we're going to go sell some stuff and we're going to go back, back in that direction. Hopefully, do with the crazy tree and possibly do some other stuff as well. Right, so we had to sleep. Check what's going on here. Okay, triumph. A nasty rumor. Good. Success. Okay, it's excellent. Right, so either of them can do that one, and only she can do that one, okay. So, you should do that, and we'll start that. And then I think these are all the ones in progress, aren't they? Yeah. So we have that one failed. Okay. Okay, what about we start on that? Oh, don't skip it, eh? You don't want to do that. Yep, rest the OLED trading post for your capital. So we've rested our capital. I'm going to pop outside. May as well get them because they're going to be stolen anyway.
No stopping. Okay, let's go chat with Brittle. See our goods. Actually, what we'd rather do is sell you a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to use that one anymore. That's an interesting one. Arcane Protector. Mm, no. Bastard Sword plus one. Sword Sword plus one. Heavy Mace plus one. And a Shock Rope plus one. Okay. And it check who could benefit from any of those. So let's deal with that. And go to inventory. So this is gonna be better for you, isn't it? Better than this, I mean. Yeah. Let's pop that on here. Then for you, you get your scimitar, you can't use any of those. The crusher. It's not as high maximum damage as what you got already. Long sword plus one. Short sword plus one. Short bow plus one. You can't use a ball. You can either. Maybe she can. Yes, she can. But they're both pretty much the same. But a crossbow has a higher range. Okay, so I think we're gonna sell that ball. That might actually. That might be nice for. Um, What's it? Octavia, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so let's now check you. You've got your bastard sword plus one. So that's exactly the same thing, so we can sell that. And then the short sword we can sell as well. Okay, so I think all of those we can sell then. So quick chat again with you. Accessories. Headband of vast intellect or intelligence. Could be good for someone. Cloak of resistance. And this is the belt of joint thread. Yeah, we'll keep that around. I think we'll just keep them around anyway. You kind of run stuff that we can get rid of. Not at the moment. Okay, so let's deal with that. Then we'll check. If you have any more of the potions that we need, flame guard, five armor, minus nine damage. One usable. Now it's a no. Okay. 
notable accessories. That could be decent. We have the Beast King, this room rats to her, I don't have a companion if they have one. Need the protection plus two, we should definitely get that. So we better for something else. And I think we want that as well. And maybe this. I don't know about the clarity. Okay, well, let's just get what we're getting at the moment. Okay, and then let's equip whoever needs equipping, so. So they're probably going to be good for you. I would love to. You can, you just did it. Look of resistance. Okay. You've already got that, so she should get that. And then taking that off won't make any difference because you can't get two the same. Down draws with bow. Okay, so the other one, no, none of you are using bows, are you? Hmm. This is bows, not crossbows. Let's see if it works. I'm pretty sure it's only for crossbows. Though. So you might get that to Octavia if she comes back in. Headband of big guns were sworn to have some bonus to intelligence. So he's going to be the best to get that. I guess one of What's she got at the moment? Headband of the Spur of Wisdom. Intelligence might be better. And Wisdom. For you, I think. And you wear that. Okay, I think I'm happy with that sorted out. Now, let's get ourselves out of here. So Tristian should be fine now. He certainly is. So what do you have? Constitution. Okay, so we need to use lesser restoration on both of you. So we go to the first place where we can stop, which is going to be here. Let's travel there. We go in, we we'll get rid of whatever we need to. 
and then we will continue on our merry way. Light moves, increase the screen, sleep, cure, fascinate, cause fear, treat affliction on you. Okay, so we need lesser restoration, not that one. Good. Right. I think I might have some lesser restoration scrolls. Especially, it's us now. We don't have any Lester restoration. Looks like we don't. Feeble mint. No, so we're gonna have to, to buy them later because I'm not traipsing all the way back. Just to get rid of that. But not sure why resting didn't get rid of it, because it said that it would. Maybe we need to rest for a certain amount of time. Anyway. We're going to get ourselves back to there. So we will have to rest somewhere around here. Maybe on this side, hopefully. I think it might be somewhere around here, actually. Oh, we get to fight something first. Who wants to fight us? I shall end this suffering. Serves you right. Bloody guards. Okay, he's gonna be an interesting character. Who? You. Okay. Stefano Mosconi. You see Sir Stefano Mosconi from Patax. He looks reduced from when you first met him. Oh, this is this dick. His clothes are torn and bloodstained, and his waxed hair and moustache are bent at odd angles. Noticing you, Stefano salutes with you with his rapier. He seems genuinely pleased to see you. We meet again. I confess I never thought I'd be glad to see you. I'm glad I made it in time. 
I bow to your dignity. Saving me here after our unpleasant conversation back in your capital must have been controversial. I may even owe you an apology for my behaviour. Despite the many flaws, your Barney has some potential. Sir Stefano leans on his rapier wearily. The people here, yourself included, are passionate and ready to embrace progress. Not all countries are so open. Stefano inhales sharply. The people of Galt might as well be a mob where boy is eating itself from within by continued struggles for power. And Numeria, why, it's hardly a land at all. I'll show you barbarian strength, you can hear Amiri cracking her knuckles. First I show you the floor. <laughs> but here I see a beginning, a beginning of something greater. Your people admire you, respect you, and believe in a future with you as their leader. Sofano gives a respectful nod. Not all may say the same. I will report this to my king, Aravetti. Maybe this barony is actually worthy of becoming a Pataxian vassal. A vassal? Yes. Sir Stefano pauses for a moment and looks surprised. What did you think I would offer? Do you think us equals? He scoffs. Ha! If your barony were even a hint of becoming a rival to Patax, why, His Highness Iravetti? Stefano looks flusters. Why, he would need to deal with that threat by vassal treaty or by steel. I see granite. I see gratitude is fashionably out of date in Pitax. Valerie's, lip, Valerie's lips form a tin line as Stefano flushes. Not in anger, but shame. Stefano recovers, straightening. Why, my lady, on the contrary, it is because of gratitude. I am being candid with you right now. Valerie speaks softly, so softly that not only you can hear her. Please remain temperate. Stefano may be stupid, but dealing with him here and now will bring you that much closer to the stag lord and his bandits. Your honesty is welcome. Next time we meet, it could be on the battlefield. Valerie nods pensively beside you, as though to herself. You understand perfectly well that her approval is meant for you. I will look forward to that meeting, Your Grace. However, however it unfolds. He salutes with his rapier. It has been an honour. Well, the guy's still a dick, but he's not as much of a dick as he was before, so that's something. Onwards. Still believes that we're beneath him, but not as far beneath him maybe as before. Okay, so we get to continue, probably not too far. May yeah, we we're gonna have a moment of rest. Reset? Oh, no, we're gonna fight first. Then we're gonna rest. Right, who wants to fight us now? March on. Oh, a skeleton, okay. To victory! <laughs> it's crazy once Amiri gets involved there's just no saving enemies it seems I'm hungry when we you're also moany Let's see. Right, we're going to actually set up camp here. We 
We need to get some kind of wagon we can bring hey, with us. Hey, dwarf. You ever miss your home and your kin? Sounds from what you said, your kin is even more crap than mine. Why ask if you know the answer? The cook hopes he's spoiled. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Now, we're not overloaded anymore. And her one has gone away. Right, so let's continue on. May we have a moment of respite? Okay. Let's enter. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna stop die. right now since you're all being moany kids. But we'll probably get attacked anyway. Oh, there's enemies nearby. Okay. I don't see any enemies. Oh, there they are. Okay. Ooh, there's like five of them. Sleep on him, please. Oh, nice. Oh, hi there. It would, but you guys seem to to track pretty much everything that could potentially disturb the rest. Okay, let's try again. No, no, that will not have this. Okay. He did deserve it, right? Okay. We're in kind of a bit of trouble. again guys oh really okay try again oh it's just not working out for us at all Yay. What god do the six bears venerate? The men? Gorum, of course. Because they're all such great warriors, you know. As for the women, they worship either their ancestors or Erastil. They tried to stop me from praying to Gorum, but I smashed a couple of monks, and they left me be. <laughs> Here you go. Head 
Right, so we want to get down to where the crazy tree was. So it's over there. But we need we need to keep away from the cursed area. What's this? Hearty meal. Resistance, power attack. Okay, power shot. Those are all fine. Is that not where the crazy tree was? It was. I can't go that in that direction. Just letting the ink dry. And so they walked. Yeah, that's what it is. Last wishes, and then our leader charged forwards. Hey, wait for me. No, not gonna happen, guys. Get over here. Let's fight it away from all of that crap. Let us strike as one. We can do it. Unknown home, oh, where that is, is broken. Any bane, what's bane on you? Brave Hent! We're not even hitting it. Oh, we found it! Wow! I did not expect that. <laughs> I was about to say, Maybe we need to come back another time. But we got it. Okay, so there is a letter and a wedding ring. So let's collect those. Let's come back. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to the notable. Okay, it's not there. Okay. Naito's letter. 
My beloved Calatropsia, every day I spend without you seems to drag on forever. The only thing left to do is to think of our coming wedding. Only you know how I long for this day to finally come. Each time I close my eyes, I see us together. I see happy guests and tables set out for a feast. I smell the fragrance of flowers and fine cuisine. I hear cheerful music. I feel your touch as we whirl and dance. But even these dreams pale in comparison to the mere thoughts of the eternity we'll spend together. I shall love you forever, even after death. In every life after this one and across all creation, only one thing disturbed my happiness. Do you know that someone tried to interfere with our wedding? My former groom, Dorsey, has talked father into trying to disrupt the ceremony. Picture this, father took it into his head that since he is the headman of our village, he can decide my fate. But don't you worry, my love, their plot has fallen apart. No gods could prevent our union, for higher force is standing behind us. A few nights ago, I dreamt of a mesmerizing maiden who told me how to free myself of my father's grip. I did everything as she told. I was so angry with him. Now, of course, I'm beset with doubt. Was it the right thing to do? Hmm. Okay. Where were we? Where was the right thing to do? Still, I hardly think any of this is more than pure superstition. Such silliness cannot change how things are, and I could have dreamt of absolutely anything. Think nothing of this, my love. Think only of me. I love you. I cannot wait for our day. Your Nitya. Or Nita. Okay. Now, is she related to the dude over here? No stopping now. Let's see whether that's changed anything. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so not to figure out how to fix you. Meanwhile, why don't you use this a couple of times? Then you can use this on her a couple times. And once on yourself. And we're going to come up here because killing those guys is what, or killing the tree is what these guys up here wanted. Where they? They were here, weren't they? Yeah. Okay, so we'll walk our way up. Yeah, you still got your constitution damage, but you're all right. So, did this actually work or not? Don't worry. We're going to use it on you anyway, just to see. I think they're almost here, yeah. So you please use that on Tristian. Okay. And then let's have a chat with you guys. The side tree is no more. Falcos gives you a white grin, while Tricia wipes away a tear. May you never know peace, my queen. You have our gratitude. You won't forget your kindness. Okay, well, you're welcome. Okay, now branch is done. Now let's quickly have a look at our journal. So, coin. He went a local, but he certainly wasn't the best poor soul from undead. And he's wondering if we strike. We should help him, but. Now. Hmm. 
It's okay, it's la 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 la. Okay. Find a way to put the man to rest. Okay, we still have sort of done it yet. Kill the side tree, we're done. And we told her that it's dead. So that to we never found her place to ask it. Maybe it's behind those owl bears. I hope it isn't. Maybe check the map. So there's over here where she could be. And then there's obviously over there as well. Let's do a bit of ex bit more exploring. It is done. Okay, so it looks like we can't get any further that way, so we should definitely go and check over here instead. So, this way. We should be coming around here, yeah. If she's over by the Albers, then we have to forget her for a while because they absolutely destroyed us. I think there's something here to gather as well. It's just ahead of us. Or to you. Sword. Okay, nothing amazing, but stuff is stuff, I guess. Right, so let's follow down along this line. So there's any way. So maybe here we can get across. See that. It was a big one as well. Oh wow. <laughs> no stop. It's always now. like I love how combat feels very satisfying. When you guys just wreck something. Oh, hi there, girl. Let's go talk to you. A dead man stares towards you. There is a gaping hole in the middle of his chest, and you can see the white of bone through the tears in his decaying flesh. He speaks with a halting, gurgling wheeze. Living one, I do not. Want to harm you? Help me. Who are you? I was. I had a name. Dorsey. Had a bride. Now no one alone. Less than no one. What happened to the village? The man groans, and you see his hands twitch and curl into fists. They. Damn, they killed everyone, every single one. Hate, hate them all. Hate the Fay. Hate the headman. Why do you hate Fay so much? The little man's decaying hand sink into the edges of the huge hole on his chest. The Fay stole my bride, killed her, killed me, the whole village, and the headman, the bastard, helped them. Sold his own daughter to the Fae. Nita, my love, evil, all of them. How I hate them. 
How can I help you? The Fae said, I'll reach my final rest when two coins serves my eyelids. Give me just two coins. Put regular gold coins over the dead man's eyes. Just two coins. Shouldn't be too hard. You put two coins over the dead man's eyes. But they fall from his sockets to the ground. The dead man hisses. All lies. Damned fate. Damned. The dead man orders a helpless groan, stretching his arm towards you. Okay, so I think we just need to get a different type of coin to put on his eyes. Onwards. I don't think the Fae were, were completely lying. Yeah, definitely. Check that out. What's that? It's trapped. That's what it is. Okay, well, she can't open it. It isn't your lucky day, is not it? My lucky day. Oh, hi. What the hell are you? Giant snails or something? Hmm. Let's get this. What? There's three of you. Oh, wow. They like their acid, apparently. Giant stuff. Quite well. You would help it at least. Oh, something there as well. Shard of Night's Bracer and a token of the Dryad. Okay. That's something else here. Thank you. Right now, let's continue down this way. So, I guess that's the edge of the map on this side. There's something like that. I don't want those berries. Okay, continue on down. Is there something over? Oh, it's that. Okay. But there is more over here. So there's something beside the hut. I failed. You better be sorry. Okay, and something somewhere around here. Aren't we going to right where it is? Ah, there it is. Some mushrooms. Take those. Okay, and then something down around here. This, I think. Oh, better be careful. We will be victorious. They go down. There's four of them. Okay, could be a house here. Got a scarecrow. It looks like we can talk to. Maybe. Okay. Detect magic. Let's see. Okay, let's see. The house differs from the others. It's only one. It's the only one that looks habitable. A low, almost defeated fence rings it. 
Smoke rises from the chimney and you can smell what could be a stew, heavily spiced. Even gla glass windows adorned with drapes are intact. A small dented brass bell hangs near the front gate and a well-swept path leads from the gate to the door of the house. Along the side of the house lies a garden, vegetables, it seems, vegetables it seems. And in the middle of the garden you see a scarecrow with black stones for eyes and a wicked grin stits on his burlap face. Okay, let's detect magic. The gate and the bell bear a simple enchantment that alerts the caster, presumably the owner of the house, about uninvited guests. Okay, how the scarecrow's aura is strong, almost like a lightning flash to your senses. It is not a bundle of sticks and rags, it's a dangerous war to protect the home from trespassers. Anyone here? No matter how loud you shout, no one answers. Gently throw a little pebble at the window. Okay. Here she comes. Succeed, succeed at this dexterity check. The pebble hits the window with a clack. After several moments, the door creaks open and an old woman with a tangle of grey hair and greenish skin steps out. Her eyebrows and ears taper to sharp points. Who's causing all this mischief? The woman scans the porch through a baleful eye, and her gaze locks on the pebble. Throwing rocks now? What, you think that bell hanging there is just for show? Sorry. Let's have a chat with you. The old bell dame. So, what is in damnation are you doing here? The old woman squints at you with disapproval. Her hair is a tangle of grey, and her wrinkled skin is an unusual shade of green, both her eyebrows and ears taper to point. I'm looking for a lost child. Have you seen him by chance? A boy? What would I do with a brat? Pickle him in a jar? That's rich. She gives a rattling laugh. Where is it written? If an old woman likes a little peace and quiet, she must be a child-stealing witch. Who knows what could have snatched up a child. Mayhap he's been eaten by goblins or lured to the swamp by their wandering lights. Or maybe his poor sobbing mother, with all her false tears, strangled him in his sleep, then put him to bed with a shovel somewhere deep in the forest, and now looks for someone to mantle the blade. Go to her. Squeeze answers from her. Make her tell you where her wealth is, but don't be bothering me. Her answer rings with indignation, but you can't tell if it's genuine or not. Who are you? Me, eh? I'm just a harmless old woman, hoping for some peace and quiet. The old bell dame, they call me, and that's fine. Been called worse in my life. Why are you asking? What fool's errands brings you all the way out here? Uh, this seems an unusual herb. Can you tell me what it is? She takes the herb between her bony fingers, sniffs it, then gives you an approving nod. You've got a good eye. The herb is useful, but not by itself. Look here. She shows you three different herbs. This one's mud, mud leaf. Then there's gloomberry. And that, that's the dizzy head. One guess what it does. If you can find three bundles of each, bring them to me. Okay, I've got a question for you. How can I help you, good woman? Well, now we're talking. Much better than poking around when you don't belong, nattering on like a fool. Here, look. She pulls a black, oddly wrinkled mushroom from a bag on her belt. It has an old smell about it that makes your eyes water. This, this is black rattle cap. The spore pods inside, the best things for the lungs and the skin. Me, I use them for tea. They're rare. Though, 
but they grow thickets at the mud ball east of here. Get me at least ten. Yes, ten. Then we'll talk. Okay, we'll try that. And good riddance. When you say good riddance, well, we're going to help you. That's like a really not very nice thing to do. Okay, but we are going to end there. And I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.